Today we're gonna to talk about how to set up your suspension trainer in your house. All right, so everyone, if you have the suspension trainer, grab that bag and you should be able to have, you should see that there's two pieces. Number one, there's a suspension trainer and you also have the door anchor. We'll set that aside for later. All right, and that suspension trainer you're gonna have, it's, it comes in three different parts. You have the long strap right here that either may or may not be connected already. And then you have your handles and that, that length. So take those bands off, cut them, pull them off, whatever. And then we should have, looks basically like this. It's long, that long extension piece comes down to the handles and the buckles are down here. You may have this style of buckle or the one with you you operate with your thumb, which is a little bit easier even. So um, if you have a pull-up bar, if you're lucky enough to have one of those in your house, it's easy to set this up. Grab this and then wrap it around a bar or a beam. Make sure you wrap it at least twice if that's possible. Sometimes if you're wrapping like a tree or something, that's not gonna work out. From here, grab this. Make sure it's on one of the pieces that's not connected to the bottom strap, all right? So in other words, you wouldn't want to have it together on the same loop right here. Try to avoid that if at all possible. Now, if you're setting up this up in your house and you don't have a bar to use, here's what you're gonna do. Take that extension band off here and we're gonna take the door anchor and put that on, okay? So it's a lot smaller. Now with this door anchor, what we're gonna do is just open a door, easy, put the door anchor in right here, and then shut that on the suspension trainer. From here, you have a nice stable surface to do rows, push-ups, pulls, everything you would normally do. Now let's talk about adjusting your suspension trainer. Right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this buckle so it's a flat surface. I don't know if you can see that, but now the buckle's pulled down. Normally it sits right here in a locked position. We pull it down so it's flat with our thumbs and we, all we need to do now is just apply downward pressure, lengthen that strap up, okay? Uh, from here, you wanna make it a little bit shorter so it's not quite so long. Pull again down with the thumb, pull up on the yellow tab. Now if you wanna bring it even to a shorter position, grab again down near the handles just on the black piece this time, pull up again, do you have what looks like a rabbit ear in that? So. If you have it like this, then it's going to be in the very, very shortest position on your suspension trainer. 